You might think that strapping a flamethrower to a robot makes it unstoppable, right? Well, let's find out. There we go. There it is. That's the fire we want to see. Barbecue that Godzilla. Oh. Flamethrowers generally look great, but they're not that good at burning stuff. Especially when that stuff is a fast-moving robot. We've seen our fair share of flamethrowers at NHRL. They look great, but don't win. Let's start from the basics. What is a flamethrower and how does it work? At its core, it's a weapon designed to project fire. Flamethrower bots need a flammable fuel system, whether that's butane, propane, or MAP. They need an igniter, whether that's a glow plug or a spark generator. And they need a means of propulsion. So on a butane system, that's a servo that just pushes the can forward. But in propane, that might be a solenoid valve. It's not just about lighting up your opponent, it's about controlling the burn and managing the heat. It wasn't until mixtape and Dutch oven proved that flamethrower bots can do more than just put on a great show. They can win. All right, that's it, that's it. Top out, your winner is mixtape. Calvin changed the game with mixtape being the first flamethrower to really win fights and get knockouts. And he did it by having a massive flame and excellent driving. And then came Dutch Oven, who brought in technology from jet engines and forges to take the flamethrower design to its hottest level yet. Dutch Oven is the first <laughs> bot in NHRL that has permanently broken a cage for the entire night. This is destruction in ways I couldn't have even predicted. Just, there's screens and wires and melted plastic <laughs> everywhere makes it different than some of the other flamethrowers that we've seen. A okay, custom tank, so mixtape, other robots. We'll use a commercial butane tank. What goes in the eight ounce can of butane is now in this uh, custom aluminum housing. There's a little straw that comes over here. Through the solenoid valve, the fuel wraps around like a rocket engine, cools the chamber as the fuel it burns coming on the outlet. On the back side, we have a fan. So as it's blowing the air, the fuel cools the chamber and then burns either internally or just right at the right zone externally to the robot. It creates a really hot flame as a result. Dutch wow. Oven is your spicy winner. Knockout. That is what Alex Grant came here to do. But here's the catch. Three pound robots are often made up of 3D printed plastic. And when that gets blasted by a flamethrower, it tends to melt into a pile of goo. Oh. It's like a melted action figure. That is just sad. I mean, I'm sure the bot is mostly okay on the inside, maybe, but the outside is cooked. I've never been able to use the fire for the entire time. I've never seen UHMW actually melt like that. Like, I've never seen it actually turn clear and catch fire. In the 30-pound weight class, robots are often armored with metals like hardened steel or titanium, and their weapons hit incredibly hard. So by the time it would take your flamethrower to damage one of these steel or titanium robots, you're often already in a pile of pieces and have lost the fight. There's been several attempts, but we haven't seen a truly competitive 30 pound flamethrower bot since Dragon Princess, whose robust design made it really hard to kill. That's why a solid defensive design is crucial. Flamethrowers need time to do damage, and surviving within that window is everything. Kazaa Light is a bot that started out as a bit of a novelty act here at NHRL, but they, over the past few months really, have come into their own with an extremely robust chassis, an excellent driving strategy, and a bot that can take hits and keep on delivering damage. In June of 2024, Joshua Reinhardt debuted his first flamethrowing 30-pound robot, Kazaa Light. I've always been about the fire. Kazaa Light was basically my attempt to try out the 30-pound class, where I know fire might not be as effective, but conveniently because your, your weapon system is actually way lighter, you're allowed to allocate a lot more of that weight to, in my case, armor. So I actually have 11 pounds of AR, 400 on the outside. Wow, that's a 
Kazalite went on to have about a 50-50 win-loss record with one win via knockout and nine by judge's decision. A decent showing for a flamethrower bot that wasn't seen as much of a threat. Granted, four-letter word was clearly struggling from the get-go, but that flamethrower was really on its game. Once it got going, once it caught, it was a, a force to be reckoned with in the box there. But then in 2025, a key rule change shifted everything. No more minibots. Minibots being a small interference robot that teams would run alongside their main robot, and they'd primarily use them to high center or disrupt their opponent. Kazaa Light is a 30 pound multibot whose weight is evenly split between two robots. The minibot rule doesn't apply to them, which gives them an advantage. Say, if one robot were to be pinned or the other one went down, the win is still very much alive. We've seen across all weight classes that without minibots, driving becomes even more of a differentiating factor. Enter Peter Garnache. Peter is one of the sport's greatest drivers, and he's a multibot specialist, being one half of Repeater, the three pound world champion. And for the 2025 March round of NHRL, Peter was driving one half of Kazaa Light. The combination of Joshua Reinhardt's design, no more minibots, and the world-class driving of Peter Garnache have all coalesced into Kazaa Light being a serious contender. In their way stood three of the hardest hitting, most fearsome 30 pound robots in the world. Emulsifier, a two time world champion. Synthesis 30, who had a major upset over Emulsifier at last year's world champs. And MIT's Ares, with their brutal, hard hitting vertical spinner. It's Kazaa Light! Joshua Reinhardt, multibot, dual flamethrower, three tanks of butane in each one of those robots. It spits fire hot and rich. Emulsifier, Kazaa Light, a tale as old as time, two flamethrowers, one giant spinning blade. I'm excited to see how this one goes. Fight, yeah. robots <laughs> fight. Look at that, incredible! Oh, wow. This is some of the best flame we've had. Great pins from both of the Kazaa light segments. You can see smoke coming off the tires on Emulsifier. They're able to effectively keep Emulsifier up and its wheels off the ground. Ooh, nasty. These are the biggest hits we've ever seen Kazaa Light take and survive. I'm so impressed. What a place to end it. You can see the tracks are coming off of Emulsifier, but it's still very mobile. On the Look at that, take on a 20-pound standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with a 30-pound for a pushing match in the last moments of that fight. Woo! We want time! We want time to Emulsifier! Let's go! Very, very well done. I gotta say, that was quite the glow up for Kazaa Light. I don't think anybody expected them to take that many hits and still function, still be able to go toe to toe in a pushing match at the end of that matchup. Absolutely incredible. The day they beat Emulsifier, the two time world champion. A day of upsets, and in my opinion, that was the biggest upset of the day. After toppling the two time world champion Emulsifier, Kazaa Light put on a driving clinic against the giant slayer Corey Nascent with Synthesis 30 and pulled off a move that's rarely been seen at NHRL. Look at the design of Kazaa Light. It's got these little nurgles on the forks that hold its opponent away out of danger. Look at this! Stuck up <laughs> on the wall. Synthesis on 30 is stuck and they're on just fire. Gonna, they're not letting up and they don't need to. Kazaa Light now going after the house robot. I don't think Fluke's gonna like that. Kazaa Light is flaming everything in its path. The house robot and Kazaa Light now stuck together. We're gonna need another house robot to come in as Kazaa Light is now teaming up against Fluke. Remember, <laughs> you, if you are brave enough, you can interrupt an unstick attempt. You are allowed, but you will face the full aggression of 300 pound Fluke. And they've done it! They've done it!
This might be the first instance of a robot holding off an unstick to secure a win in the 30 pound wow. division. Absolutely incredible. Kaza Light has changed the game for bigger flamethrowers. Now, Josh, uh, respectfully, you're coming into this competition as an underdog, a flamethrower in this weight class, not something that you usually see go this deep. You've landed some incredible upsets tonight. You're going head to head with Aries, another really dominant vertical spinner. Let me just ask you, what are your thoughts going in against one more huge hill to climb? It's going to be a challenge, but I'm glad we got Pete driving with me. Hit me, Josh, hit me. Give me up. With Pete, anything's possible. So I think we can pull this off. You know, we got the great forks. And the joy of fire is, it doesn't matter how big you are, fire can bring you down. So we're, we're going to do this. Fire on the fire! <laughs> bring in that fire to the 30 pound division. That's right. It is the tag team that is Kazaa Light and their opponents from it, MIT. It is Aries. Ryan Duarte and his team of geniuses coming out here with an absolute gladiator of a robot. Look at Aries. It is completely covered in foil tape. They're going to hope that that gives them a little more resistance to the flame coming out of Kazaa Light. And the barbecue has begun. Oh, that's not where Kazaa wants to get oh, hit. Oh, absolutely just brutalized in that exchange. Mm, the fork of Kazaa Light being damaged there, and now they are sort of stuck up on oh, the wall. Oh, but Ares is upside down. This is a Ooh. great point for Kazaa Light to they strike. they got to be careful with that plastic top. There, there it, is. it is. That's the barbecue that Kazaa Light wants to deliver. Look at that. Pieces are flying off of Ares. Yeah, like a little bag of vegetables on the grill there, wrapped in foil. Look at it. It's smoking. The, the fireproof tape is on fire, Adam. <laughs> Kazaa Light. Oh! Kazaa getting roofed there. Wow. It's amazing that Kazaa Light is still moving. Kazaa Light trying to work together. Hearing uh, some fans various chanting in the background. Oh, that's oh the and they've relit their other robot here. There you robot. go, look at that barbecue. That's what you want to see to end the fight with this 12 is exactly seconds left. This is Light wants. They're going to end it with Ares roasting on the open fire as we're going to go to the judges. Fantastic, what a fight. What a way for Kazaa Light to leave the end wow. of that match. And Ares, boy, they needed it. Ares is going to leave the arena with a completely broken, inoperable weapon, functional drive. Kazaa Light, fully functional, both weapons and drive working, using a couple forks along the way, and a back and forth fight throughout. That is close. I don't, I'm pretty speechless. That was amazing. I'm, I'm so excited that it even happened like that, that Kazaa made it all the way to the finals and kind of might have did that. Might have done it. I don't know. And, and all right, here, here it, it is. is. Unanimous Kazaa. decision. Kazaa Light. Light. <laughs> For the first time ever, a flamethrower. <gasps> Kazaa Light oh is the Golden Dumpster winner of the 30 pound division. Fire can win! Yes, I, I, I am just flabbergasted. I am I am so happy to be there, here. Thank you, Pete. Th I, I feel like I could not have done this without Pete, his encouragement, his driving, the whole package. Like, this is amazing. Truthfully, after we beat Emulsifier, kind of the, the shock of like being here has worn off and I was like, if we beat Emulsifier, why can't we go all the way? Like, why, why not? And each time, our bot just proved we could. Like, when we when we got the house bot up, truthfully, I had always, I've seen Kevin do that infinite times, and I was like, that feels like a, a nice little cheat, little glitch. I gotta try that. And and when, to do it felt amazing. Well, Joshua, there's only one thing left for me to do, and that is to hand you your golden dumpster. Hold it high! Now that the bar has been raised for flamethrowers, who knows what the future is for fire in fight in robots? But one thing's for sure, Kazaa Light has proven that flamethrowers are here to stay.